Hi, this is Steve Strickland with CamTech Engineering, and today for Master Cam Monday, we're going to talk about a tech support case from last week involving the need for rest machining. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to look at here is Operation 1, which is a waterline toolpath using a quarter inch ball nose end mill. And the purpose of the tech support was uh, when the customer was machining in these corners with the quarter inch tool, uh, given the radiance of these corners, it was leaving material behind. And so it's uh, very evident here if I back plot and step in, we'll see right there, uh, that material, we need to pick that material out with, a, with additional operation. And so the customer had the question of how do I do that in the most efficient manner possible? So to illustrate how we're gonna attack that, I'm gonna X out of my back plot and go ahead and copy this operation down. And I'll go in the parameters and I wanna change the tool being used to be uh, from a quarter inch to a 330 seconds. And I'm gonna go into my cut parameters and change my step down to be 0.02. And we're gonna regen that toolpath. So now taking a look at the regen toolpath using the 330 seconds tool. If I move in here and take a look at these corners again, we're gonna see that smaller diameter tool is going to do a much better job in these corners and not leave the material behind. However, you know, this strategy of going back over the area a second time with a smaller diameter tool to solve the corner problems is really not efficient and not something we want to do. We want to employ the concept of rest machining, which is going to allow us to go and attack stock that's left behind from our previous operation. So to do so, I'm going to go in here to my parameters and go to my stock tab. So my stock tab, if I select trim to stock, it's going to give me multiple options on which I can inform my current operation on the state of the stock remaining. So I could simply select a previous operation or I could choose to plug in parameters from the tool that was used from a previous operation, in this case operation one. So I know it was a quarter inch tool. I know the quarter, the, the quarter radius was 0.125 and we're going to go over an overlap distance of 0.01. So that's okay. And let's go ahead and regenerate that toolpath again. So now taking a look at the region toolpath with rest machining turned on, if I zoom in here to the corners, we're gonna see it's getting at the material that was left behind, it's picking that material, but it's not going back over the areas we've already machined with operation one. And this is absolutely the most efficient way to solve that problem in the corners. So this is going to close out our Master Cam Monday on rest machining. And as always, if you have any questions on what we did here today or uh, setting up something specific for your project, please do not hesitate in reaching out. We'd be glad to help. Thank you.